giving you grandma chic. Today is like a sunny day, but I feel like it'll be a little bit breezy. And it's one of those days where it's warm when you're in the sun, but when you're in the shade, it's cold. So I'm wearing this satin skirt by Max Mara. Um, this knit cardigan, which is new from H&M actually. I really like it. It's like a wool and cashmere blend. I'm wearing my Dior trench coat, vintage Dior trench coat and my Saint Laurent bag. For shoes, I have my Chanel white trainers on. I'm planning to do some walking today, so I wanted to be comfy, warm, but still look cute and put together. So this is my outfit. What are you wearing, True? Cos, Uniqlo, Dior, and then maybe Prada, if it gets cold. Cool, all right. I'm off to get a wax, and then we're gonna go and get some lunch. So we are here finally. It was actually a quick ride from my wax place and the sun is still shining. I absolutely love the sun. I feel like it puts me in the best mood ever. I'm really hungry. We haven't had anything. So I went to the gym this morning, came back, showered, then went straight to my wax. And now we're gonna have lunch. How are you feeling, Trey? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm hungry as well. Also, we've moved back to the Canon G7X. Because um, I prefer it. Yeah. <laughs> we bought this is the G7X Mark III though, so it's different to the old one we had. But we still will use a Sony one occasionally. I think True will use that more than I will. And also, basically, the reason we came to Nettle Market is because if you remember in like the lockdown, we used to come here like quite a bit and we would vlog like the donut place and pockets. And yesterday I went to a Chanel event and I met a subscriber who told me that I like got her addicted to Nettle Market and she always comes. And then it reminded me that we used to come here, so we've come to visit again. guys i was so worried it's gonna get sold out because the queue is so long and basically they sell it until they sell out yeah but we got it we got the oh my god look at it in the sun so good okay guys so we have the goods i'm so excited what i like about pockets is that they fill each layer up with falafel then the salad and they like build it up so it's not one of those things where it's like you eat the first layer and then you get to the bottom and it's just salad i hate that yeah, how do you how do you tackle this? From the pitta is steamed, which actually is a really good idea to steam the pitta because once we had this, then True tried to recreate at home, and you steam the pa pata, <laughs> you steam the pitta, and although it's not exactly the same, obviously because I have put some magic in here, uh, the the steamed pitta effect is really nice. Mm. So you can actually do this at home if you have pitta, try and steam it. It tastes so good. In Nettle Market, there's like other food places as well, mm. but there's no queue for those and it's only pockets that has the queue. I do feel bad for the other food places. We should try them. Yeah. I think there's a Bao Bum place and that looks quite popular, like I saw people having that. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've done a car mukbang. I feel like the car mukbangs started in lockdown Yeah. because we weren't able to eat in the restaurants. So obviously now that things have opened up, we tend to eat in restaurants, but with Nettle Market, there's not much seating area. Well, like, there is a little bit, but it was packed, so we come. Yeah. We came to the car to eat. I shouldn't have eaten the edges because now it's gonna pop out of each side. But look it's how so filled good. it is. I don't want it to end. <laughs> so we have decided to come to the park now, uh, just because we want to make. Oh, this color looks a bit. Um, it makes me look a bit fancy. Yeah, so we've decided to come to the park now because it's such a beautiful day. I just want to make the most of it. We've come to Victoria Park, which is like a five-minute drive from Nettle Market. And it's one of my favourite parks to come to because it reminds me of my childhood. Back to bed watch. Yeah, it looks really green in the light. Yeah, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I think because we got this in winter, we didn't actually get to see the true colour of the bag. home now but we actually came home just for like a little stopover but since we've <laughs> come <Stop over. laughs> yeah it was a stop 
stop over. <laughs> That's what you call it. But we're feeling tired now. Like we've just sat down. And True did say, because he said to go up to them and do some things. And I said, I just need to sit down five minutes because um, once you sit down, you're not going to come back up. And now I've sat down, I actually don't want to get off the sofa. But it looks like True's comfortable too. No, I can get up. But I said, let's go get my nails done. I normally get um, gel on my natural nails. But basically, last time I went to the nail shop, they took the gel off. And um, I didn't have time to do my nails because tried to go tennis. Yeah, these are my natural nails. They're very long, as you can see, like naturally. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get them maybe filed down a little bit so they're shorter and then get some gel on them. So true, what are you having a drink of? Um, having some orange juice. Let's do 73 questions, folks. <laughs> what is your plans for today? Well, today I'm gonna take Nuri to get her nails done. Uh, and then probably, I don't know, we'll see what, what happens. What's your favorite color? Uh, no particular colour. No particular colour? Final question that the viewers want to know. When are you going to propose to Nuri? Um, I'm just like, <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now? Got the vlog coming ready. Yeah, got my ring ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, one second. Let me finish this first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, one second. Let me finish this first. So true. Finish. Why have you got an outfit change? Uh, the other one was getting a bit hot. Not the weather for this. So, what's your new outfit, please? This is t shirt I got from Selfridges. Prada jacket. That's it. Oh, let's go. Are you ready to go? Yeah, man, let's go. <laughs> this is true, serious waiting for Nuri face. <laughs> Even the hands on the lap. <laughs> Caught on camera. We're so delayed because she had to go and get an outfit change. That was literally two minutes. <laughs> Okay, so I just got my nails done at True's parents' shop. I love it. It's just um, the neutral colour I always get. This is OPI, I put it in neutral. And I get two coats of this. I get two coats of this on my natural nails. I also left my bag there, so True had to go and get it. It's back. But yeah, so I have my nails done. So now we're actually going to have um, dinner at True's parents' house because the shop is close to their house. and. We visited close to closing hours, so they'll be finished with work in about an hour's time. Are you going to make dinner? No, they are. Oh, they're going to make dinner? <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, so she's parents are going to make dinner for us, so we're just going to pick up the ingredients and then go to his parents' house and have dinner there. Very cute little wholesome day. And I managed to get my nails done, which is very important because I'm going on holiday on Tuesday without True. Yeah, first. I haven't told my followers yet. And then you're gonna have to. She's gonna vlog it. I'm going to try and vlog. I'm not not making any promises. Yeah, we'll because see. it's a girls' trip. If I vlog, it'll be nice. But if not, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Also, look at this, the magnolia, they look so nice. We're trying to find parking, but finding parking in the Shoreditch area is always very difficult because it's so busy. Especially on a weekend. Yeah, especially on a weekend. So maybe today wasn't a good day to decide to have acai bowls. We're here now, so we're going to have to make it work and find some parking. 
It's such a nice day as well, so I think a lot of people come out. Okay, so we found parking in this spot. And this is some cool artwork. So we got distracted and we were walking past this place called Charista and we decided to come and have some breakfast here instead. Can you tell we enjoyed ourselves? So guys, as you probably saw, we didn't end up getting us. So you went to a place called Chirista? Chirista. Ch Chirista. Basically where we parked, um, as we, you have to walk to the acai place, we walked past the Charista place. And I've actually heard of this place before, like I've seen a couple of people, I think on Instagram post it, I can't remember who, but like, I feel like I've heard of this name. And we looked at the menu and it looked really good. And we walked in and actually, this is the first time we've been to a Bengali restaurant because a lot of the restaurants mm. you go to like are typically Indian, but this is more Bengali inspired. So this was actually the first time True had Bengali food too, isn't it? Not Bengali food. No. <laughs> Well, like, Bengali food from a Bengali no, restaurant. This is the first time True had food from a Bengali food restaurant. Food from a Bengali restaurant. Outside of Bangladesh. Outside of Bangladesh. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it was really nice. So we had fuchka, samosa chaat, and masala chips, and then one chai. masala chai and one. What was my chai? It was like this special chai. Yeah, it was really good. Like, I absolutely love that. Yeah, meal. I would recommend. It's very heartwarming. Yeah. Like, very flavorful um, yeah. each dish tastes different sometimes when you go to indian restaurants a lot of the dishes can taste very similar and that's what i don't like but i found like with this place like each dish had its own flavor which is really nice um yeah i'd come back here again i'm actually yeah, really this, happy i want to try it again um yeah because there's loads of things on the menu that i want to try yeah this was like a spontaneous yeah. we were just supposed to pop out to that's why like i came up with no makeup on my hair greasy like just to get the assay ball, come back in the car and eat it. And we ended up coming to this little restaurant. What's I'm gonna go home now. I need to pack because I'm going away next week. I'm gonna pack, I need to finish off my wardrobe because basically I'm putting out a wardrobe. What was the video called and be called? Spring clean. No, it's not spring clean. It's War like a wardrobe. wardrobe organization video. Yeah, I'm doing a wardrobe organization video. So I need to just finish the last bits of that. That video should be coming out maybe on Wednesday, I think. So yeah, I'm just gonna go home, pack, get ready. I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on because I feel really dead right now. And the day is so nice. Honestly, guys, this weather, I was born for this weather. <laughs> it makes me so happy. It makes such a difference having good weather. You just feel like a lot more motivated to do things. Um, you want to go out like I hate being indoors and I hate staying at home when the sun is outside okay guys so we are back home um, and basically I've just put on some makeup I did this really quick and I'm quite happy with it also my lashes have grown so much because I've been using this serum let me quickly grab it I have like the straightest lashes ever and I used to always get lash extensions just because I felt like my lashes didn't exist I mean they're still not the best compared to other girls who have like the most insane lashes but for me this is like really good so basically I bought this lash room called Revita Lash um because i'd heard so many good things about it and i bought it from netta porter and it was expensive it was like 110 pounds which i was a bit like apprehensive with with purchasing because that's a lot for an eyelash serum but i had such good things so i bought it and i've been using it for like over a month now and i can see such a difference and every time i put mascara on now i'm like to true true can you see like my lashes like can you see a difference and he's even noticed a difference and it's like it's really made me feel like so much more confident wearing makeup without putting lashes on because usually I'd like put on a strip lash. I mean, sometimes I'll still put on a strip lash if I want a more like fuller eye look or if I want to like go a bit more out there. Um, but for like day to day, I just do mascara and so, yeah, this is a serum. So you put on at like night time and you put on like an eyeliner just above your lashes. And honestly, such a difference. I'm so happy with my lashes. Okay guys, so I was gonna show you what I picked up from Zara, I like do a little Zara haul because I picked up some pieces for my trip. However, I tried them all on and they were awful. Like so bad that I don't even wanna show you the try on clips. This orange skirt, like the quality of this orange skirt is really bad, like the threads are coming out of it. Like I put it on, I can see threads coming off of it. I bought this green dress for like, 
a cute little beach cover-up thing this wasn't too bad and this is made of 95% cotton so like it's in a good material um this one it just wasn't flattering on me but I feel like this was a good choice I'll put a picture of this one actually I'll put a picture of each item so you can see what it looks like that would be more useful but yeah this dress oh my god I'm gonna put a picture of what it looks like on the model do not get this because it is I mean on me anyway it didn't look great the proportions of it are really off so it doesn't look it just doesn't look right this black dress um again i didn't really like it it looks great on the model it doesn't look bad on me but it was quite static it kept getting stuck to me so it wasn't flowing nicely um i ordered these cargoes they were just the fit wasn't good um this swimsuit i didn't even try this on because i didn't like the color and then this one i loved the color but i just didn't like how it looked on but it wasn't that bad but i'm not gonna keep it that was the zara haul <laughs> but i'm literally turning everything apart from a uh, linen shirt that i got as a beach cover-up which is upstairs so yeah a very unsuccessful zara haul so i also organized my little wardrobe section in my office and there's actually going to be a video coming out soon showing you kind of how i organize the section also there's a giveaway coming a little sneak peek um i'm not sure which video i'm going to announce it in but i'm not going to put in the title because if you put in the title that it's a giveaway then people click on it just to enter the giveaway like people who don't even actually watch me so i'm gonna there is a giveaway coming as you can see there are two presents because i kind of i wanted to give like as much as i could so i wanted to pick two winners it's a giveaway coming soon i'm not sure which video it is going to be in but it's going to come soon and yeah that's what i got up to today just organizing this wardrobe for the wardrobe video and this unsuccessful zara haul which is going to be sent back Always <laughs> <laughs> on standby. Cool. And they actually, what, what did you do through the other day? I was just editing. Also, update guys, we finally managed to find the seaweed because we tried so many times to go to Costco and get these seaweeds, but they were sold out after that TikTok. Um, I think it was Emily. She did that video of her eating the salmon rice, and then the seaweed basically was sold out everywhere. But it's back, and I'm about to have this as a snack along with the Kit Kat. This is my snack of the day, my choice of snack just before dinner and then we're gonna have something for dinner. Okay guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We actually decided to just order some takeaway because we can't bother to cook. <laughs> it's quite late. Um, so yeah, we're gonna end the evening here, have our food and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.